We have made some pretty major improvements to our gameplay lately and our enemy AI is really starting to shape up. So in today's video I will show off some of the progress we have made so far in the last few weeks. Our programmers have been hard at work refining our enemies, but there is still a lot of work to be done. But they have made an incredible improvement since we last showed you how they move and how they work. Before, they could not see you behind bushes, they had a hard time chasing you, and they just worked pretty simple. But now we have started making improvements so they can see you if you poke your head up or jump behind bushes. They also hear you when you're running around behind them. And we have also decided to implement a detection bar because we think it really fits our style and theme of the game. So now whenever they start seeing you or noticing you, a question mark will start to fill above their head. And if it becomes full, they are aware of you and they will just start chasing you. So there are still some kinks to be figured out with this, but this is a major improvement since before. Some other things we have also worked on is adding a minimap, a dialogue system, more puzzles, new mechanics in level 2, an actual level 2, lots of new animations for our characters, cutscenes for our story, and lots of music and sounds. And many of these things I will show in an upcoming devlog and I am very very excited to showcase many of these things, but they are not quite ready yet. At least, you can hear some of the amazing music and sounds that our sound designer Petri have been working on. Another thing that we talked about when we started this project is that we wanted something special about this game, something that stands out. And we decided that we wanted it to be our interactions with the rat. Having a different perspective in games can be really fun as it can offer something unique in terms of gameplay and it can be very diverse in the environment. But as we have been focusing on working on the basics of the game and of course our art style, it has become apparent to us that we haven't spent enough time thinking of the main aspect of our game, the rat. So as you can see now, the rat has pretty dull gameplay if you run around with it, the environment isn't very interesting, and there isn't a lot to interact with. But we have some plans for how we can fix this, by adding more assets around the rat's environment, making our puzzles a bit more unique from the rat's perspective, and also I kinda have an idea of having some interactions between the rat and the girl sometimes. As an example, if you play as the rat and you're running around in a level and you find like a piece of cheese and you run up to it, the girl will start yelling like, no, no, not now, we need to focus on escaping. You know, like these really fun interactions that make the game seem more alive or just more interesting overall. Um, so if you think that is a good idea, or if you have any other ideas for us regarding our rats gameplay or anything about the game, feel free to comment down below as we appreciate any form of feedback really, really much. And if you haven't done it already, remember to wishlist the game. We have a goal of reaching 5,000 wishlists, as wishlist is Steam's way of determining if you are worthy or not of promotion on their platform. So thank you so much for supporting us and being a part of our journey. Now, as you can see from our footage and our social medias, we focus very heavily on our art and making our environments look good. But one thing you must always consider in game development when adding a ton of assets, making shaders and just creating a beautiful scene is optimization. And that is basically, how well does the game run? How, how much does it lag? How, how, how much does it just feel fluid in all these things, you know? Because every time you add an asset, the game has to render that asset. And more assets means more rendering for your computer. And this has started to become a bit of a problem for us. So in my next video, we will get more into the nitty gritty of how optimization works and how we're gonna handle that in Unity as a game engine. So it will be more of a technical video for those that are interested in that as well. 
And that's it for this video. I want to thank everyone that support me on my channel and everyone that supports us on our social medias and everyone that have wishlisted a game so far. Together, we can make this game a reality.